Using the temporary hide isolate tool, let's uh, select this roof here. I say modify and I'll pick on this roof. And now I got this roof at this point uh, where I want to temporary hide it. If I go down here into my status bar and I go over here to these little glasses to temporary hide and isolate and I click on it, I get four different categories. I can isolate the category, which means I only see base, you know, the roofs. I only see roofs. If I hide the category, I I make the roofs gone or they're invisible. If I isolate the element, uh, then I just see this one roof that I've selected, and I only see that roof. No walls, no anything else. If I hide the element, then I just hide that one roof. So I'm going to hide the element right now. And now you can see that this button has a set of sunglasses on. So that gives you an indication that something has been hidden or isolated. And I get this blue box around here that also tells you that. Um, now. I can go back down into this uh, item and uh, I can even pick on another one here and I can do the same thing. I come up here and I say I want to hide the element. Okay, And so now I'm looking through the ceiling, through the roof and through the ceiling. And I'm like okay, now I'm done doing what I want to do. I can come back to this and I can go to this button and click on it and I get two different uh, things I can choose. I can apply hide and isolate to the view. So if I just hit both these things, they were temporary at this point. If I click on this, it will be permanent in this view. Those things will always be hidden from this view. If I want to go back to the way it was originally, so I can reset my temporary uh, hide or isolates, I'm going to do that and those things come back on. So this is a great way of doing a one-time deal of seeing into things uh, while you're working in particular. Uh, you want you can't tell what's going on, and you're saying, "Well, I don't know if I got those dressers uh, flipped around the right way, or the bed is positioned. I got to check that." I can just pick on the item. I can go down to my temporary hide and isolate, hide the element, and I go, "Oh, those that." Uh, and then if I hit control, I can pick more than one particular ceiling, right? I go around and I can I can select those ceilings. And I could say, okay. I got all those ceilings. I can come down here and pick on it and I can hide those elements. And now I'm looking right into my uh my upper floor. And when I'm done, I can simply come back and click on this thing and go to reset temporary hide and isolate puts everything back to normal